you, you do some high class work over there. You you always make your guests feel comfortable. You give them dinner before the show sometimes. I've been reading your book, Kayfabe Stories You're Not Supposed to Hear from a Pro Wrestling Production Company owner, which I highly, highly recommend to all our listeners, by the way. And what stands out to me the most is that your dealings with those in the business is not far off from the dealings of a teacher with their students. Now, Lanny tells me that you also teach. Yeah. For every Lanny Poffo, Kevin Nash, or Jim Cornette, you've got a Conan, Buff Bagwell, or Jake Roberts. You know, every person's coming in with their own expectations and needs, and these range greatly, you know, from wanting to have a steak dinner before the interview or having their favorite obscure vodka at the ready. You know, give us some of the stories that you've experienced over the years of some of your favorite people to talk to and maybe some of the worst that you've dealt with over the years. Well, my personal rule as a content provider has always been if it's an entertaining show for the viewer then I'll I'll shoulder all of that burden I'll deal with the difficult guest I'll deal with the impossible requests I'll deal with the honky tonk man needing Seagram's extra smooth vodka which I think has been discontinued uh, years before he even asked for it that was funny that was hilarious finding that was a was a journey but um, I'll deal with all that if they hit the ball when I pitch it over the plate. The tacit agreement that I have. I'm going to pitch, and you better bring it and hit that fucking ball because that's what everybody came to see. I'll deal with everything that the fans don't see. I'm okay with that. I've been in the entertainment business a long time. I deal with temperamental personalities my entire life. That's fine. Um, The problem is when, when I get... When they don't deliver on that, when for whatever reason the production is compromised, and on top of that they're a douchebag, yeah. that's a big problem, and uh, and that's when I that's when I can't tolerate it, and that's why you've got unfortunate stories in uh, my first book, Kayfabe, about folks like uh, Buff, who uh, um, he must have been really tired that day. Let's chalk it up to that. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I didn't do any tests on his blood, so I'm going to say he was so tired he couldn't even talk when the camera went on. <laughs> so he was very exhausted. Um, you know, and then we had uh, folks like uh, Jake Roberts who uh, sat down to do the interview and said, I will not talk about my family at all. The entire interview that's written is about growing up at a wrestling right. family. And uh, so we had to part ways uh, right there on the set. I wasn't going to sit there and compromise the show for the. Listen, I still value people who pay for entertainment. There is a bit of a perception by anyone under the age of 40 that any media should be free and you don't pay for anything. But I still value folks that will put down money in exchange for an artist's product. I can't charge somebody to watch something that is unentertaining for whatever reason. So, you know, when somebody says, oh, I can't talk about this, can't talk about that, can't talk about this, I say, well, you can drop the money right there and we'll shake hands and still be friends and uh, I'll get you back to your hotel. You know, because it, it would be a disservice to the listeners and, and the paying customer. Of course, of course. The, the shoot business has been navigated by those with varying degrees of professionalism. So there's been a lot of crap that's been thrown out there by guests that you would answer in you know one word answers, and I've certainly been on the other side of, in you know in the hundreds of interviews I've done. There's certainly been folks that were much tougher to. I don't want to say manipulate because it makes me sound like a, you know like a puppet master, but uh, that have to draw information in an extended and interesting fashion. I've certainly had to resort to my bag of tricks with more than a few folks. Um, Because I'm very aware of that. I cannot put yes, no answers out there for somebody who's given money, but even more important than money, an hour and a half or two hours of their life. Oh, yeah! 